dreams were considered to be messages from the God, and the wise men were expected to interpret them. But this time, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. He needed an interpretation of the dream, but not just the interpretation. He needed the wise men to tell him the dream. So the wise men were expected to tell him the dream and also the interpretation of that dream. But listen to what the astrologer said. He said, the astrologers answered the king, there is not a man on earth who can do what the king asks. No king, however great and mighty, has ever asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or astrologer. So the so he said that no one can interpret a dream. No one can can give the king an answer. No one can interpret the dream and tell him what the dream really is. So it was a very impossible task. But we are going to discover that God can do the undoing. God can do the impossible. God can use us to achieve the impossible because he's going to use his servant Daniel to do this impossible task in the name of Jesus. That is who our God is. Our God is specialized in doing the things that seems impossible for the glory of his name. So we are going to see that God who is specialized in walking through us to achieve the impossible is going to do something great through his servant. And these people will know that there is truly a God. So God always reveals himself through situations. We'll discover that in this chapter. God reveals himself through different situations. And God is always willing to reveal his self, his nature, his essence to us Christians. So sometimes you may be going through something in your life, very difficult thing, a very difficult situation that you may be facing. Maybe God is letting you to go through that because he wants to reveal himself through that situation so you can know him in a different way. Because it is God's desire for us to know him. He says this is eternal life for them to know him. To know God is eternal life. Beloved, God wants us to know him. And God will use anything, every situation to reveal himself to his children. So let's pay attention to this particular chapter as we continue to proceed in our reading. Let us speak out the necessary things that are very vital for our faith. That can build up our faith. That can increase our belief in the Lord. Let us pay attention to those things. So please stay tuned as I'll be reading nextly. I'll be sharing the next thing that will, will bless us. God bless you and I love you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's drink some tea, please. <laughs> all right. This is my fig leaf tea. Freshly harvested fig, fig leaves.